Welcome to the Elucidate How-To Series for Salesforce. In this brief video, I will show you how to search for records in Salesforce. Following some best practices when searching in Salesforce will allow you to quickly locate the data you need. Since most instances of Salesforce contain a large volume of data, it's very important that you use specific search terms and follow best practices when searching in Salesforce. To search for a record in Salesforce, use the global search field available in the top panel of the application. There are a few things to know about the global search. It searches across all types of records, including accounts, contacts, leads, chatter feeds, and more. It keeps track of which objects you use, how often you use them, and arranges the search results accordingly. It displays search results for the objects you use most frequently at the top of the results list. When you enter a value in the search field, make sure you enter at least two characters. Don't worry about the case. Searching in Salesforce is not case sensitive. For example, let's say I'm searching for an account called Jefferson Elementary located in Santa Ana. If I enter the search term Jefferson and click search, you'll notice I get a list of over 25 accounts. To view all 25 accounts, I have to click the show more link and scrolling through the list is somewhat time consuming. Let's search again, this time entering more information. Remember, when searching for data in Salesforce, the more information you enter, the more precise your search results will be. Also, when I search this time, I'm going to use the field at the top of the search results page, rather than the global search field. This will search only account records. This time, I'll enter Jefferson Elementary Santa Ana. Notice that using those search terms returns exactly the record I'm looking for. Let's try another example. In some cases, you might not be exactly sure about the name. For example, you might remember there is an elementary school called Bay something. To search for this account, you can use a wildcard. There are two types of wildcard. An asterisk will search for any number of characters at the middle or end of a search term. For example, I can search using elementary Bay asterisk. This returns a number of accounts, including Bayview Academy, Bodega Bay Elementary, and Discovery Bay Elementary. Some of the accounts in this list don't contain the word Bay at all. Why is this? Remember that Salesforce searches all fields on the account record, not just the name field. Search terms are treated as separate words and may be found in different searchable fields within a record. For example, the billing city for Jacoby Creek Charter is Bayside. The second wildcard, the question mark, searches for a single character in the middle or end of a search term. For example, if I'm looking for an account with women in the name, but I can't remember if it's woman with an A or women with an E, I can enter WOM question mark N. The search returns accounts containing the word women with an E and accounts containing the word woman with an A. Another thing you can do is put quotation marks around multiple keywords when searching for an exact phrase. For example, if I search using Gates Elementary, you'll notice that I get a number of results. If I search again, this time in closing Gates Elementary in quotation marks, I get significantly fewer results. When searching for records in Salesforce, be specific and include as much detail as possible in the search terms. When you don't know specific information, use wildcards and consider using exact phrase searching to narrow results.